Hello, this is Glozell. Is you okay? Is you good? Because I wanted to know. Okay, okay. So this video is a. So this video is about how to get a man. First of all, okay. First of all, all you have to do. Okay. First of all, all you have to do is be pretty. That's the number one way because guys are very visual. They don't walk into a bar or a place and go, oh my gosh, I wonder what woman in here has the highest intellect. No, they they don't work that way. That's why you can have somebody who's a high-powered lawyer and they'll get with the waitress, you know, or something like that. And you're just like, huh? Where a woman wouldn't necessarily do that. If she was a lawyer, she would probably want another lawyer or someone that is what she feels is her equal as far as money and status. Where men are like, she look good. That's good. And they also want you to smell good. My husband's always like, oh, he's like why don't you take a bath? Why don't you take a bath? I'm like, every day? Like, I gotta take a bath. I'm from the country. like, And there's a water drought. You know what I'm saying? So you can Febreze it some days. I'm just saying. But uh, I know y'all like, that weed look good on her. Okay. But anywho, um, that's ba basically for guys. Now, can you be unattractive and, um, you know, whatever and get a man? Yes, you can. Because there's also confidence and that is really attractive and everything. But just going like right off the bat, usually pretty ones. Now, it helps you pretty and confident because there's a lot of pretty girls that are sad and depressed. And you're like, you just walked off the um, set of, you know, Supermodels Plus R Us kind of a thing. And they're just like, but look at my picture. You know, like my eyebrows are not perfect. I ain't got a double chin. Let it, you know, you're just like, where? Where's the fat? So, what was I talking about? Oh, men. But men, uh, another thing, uh, men... A lot of men, I ain't talking about everybody, but a lot of men don't like the women to be too educated because they want a traditional woman that they, you know, those ideals are changing somewhat, but for the most part, they want someone that's going to cook clean and kind of cater to you. But um, someone who's educated, when I say educated, let's say they have their college degree or whatever, and they making money, and they working all day and night, and they come home, and you come home at the same time, and she's the one that's supposed to cook and clean Still, she's not having that. That's why a lot of guys are don't go for the ones that are educated because they still want the traditional, you know, homemaker type of wife, you know. And uh, uh, sometimes that waitress or that younger person or that um, whatever girl is willing to do that and happy to do that. Or someone outside of their race sometimes is happy to do that where some of us are just like i don't think so uh do you what, what do you drive what's your what's your bank account look like this and that for the women want that a lot of times and the men if she's nice and she's good looking keep herself together and they want you to smell good like all the time uh that's all they care for so you let me know what else they want for the most part but anybody can get anybody i'm just saying Traditionally, overall, they want you to look good. And you know I look good. Over or not. So get your education. But uh, women folk, you know, be smart about stuff. But I'm saying, you know, it might help you to brush your teeth every once in a while. You know, put some water on your hot spots. You know what I'm saying? Just a little soap and water. Okay, over or not.